Hello there, Fro here again with another weekly football picks video, recapping week 17, the final regular season week, and looking forward to wild card round. I can't believe the playoffs are already here. Time flies when uh, you're watching football. Hope everybody had a great uh, New Year's, and hope everybody's 28-19 uh, is starting off well, and let's get right into it. Went 14-2 and this past week. What a way to end the regular season, that's all I gotta say. And on week 17, we know you have teams that aren't playing for anything and stuff, and anything can happen. I think 14 and 2 is pretty damn good. Or pretty damn lucky. Or a little bit of both. <sighs> Miami versus Buffalo. Pick uh, Buffalo win. They won 42 17. Tell you what, Josh Allen. I know he makes some bad throws here and there uh, and stuff like that, and he's very raw. He has a lot of potential. He can put some uh, talent on offense and stuff. I, I think he could be dangerous in the future. Can run, has a cannon. I'm curious to see where they go uh, going in the future. One of the two games we got wrong, Detroit Green Bay. Picked Green Bay to win. They they lost a hard fought 31 0 game. It was pretty close uh, until the kickoff. Um, Rodgers got hurt and just a fitting end to a shitty season for the Packers. And they have some pretty uninspiring coaches that they're trying, they have, uh, they're interviewing, but that's not, neither here nor there. Got that one wrong. Good for Detroit to end the season on a high note, I guess, but they need some work too. They might trade Stafford in the offseason. You know what? They might as well. Jets and New England picked New England to win. What a surprise. They won a home game against the division rival in, in December. They won a 38-3. Who cares? Postseason starts now. We'll see if this Patriots team can make one last run, but I think this is it. So brace yourselves, New England fans. Carolina and New Orleans. Pick Carolina to win because New Orleans rest their starters, and they won 33-14. Carolina, that is. And got that one right. Nothing really to say here. Not much analysis here other than Carolina has Carolina's a... Injured first string is better than the uh, New Orleans second and third string team. Dallas had the Giants. Dallas had like really no reason to play their starters this game, but yet they uh, won. The, I picked them to win, and they won 36-35. Uh, and they played Dak the entire damn game and risked getting him hurt. So it's <sighs> pretty idiotic, but they, I guess they, I guess they made it okay. But uh, they won. Yay! You got some confidence going into the playoffs, but I don't think it's really gonna help you. But we'll talk about that. The wild card picks. Atlanta, Tampa Bay, pick Atlanta to win. They won 34-32. This game was, you know, competitive, but it's it's a week 17 game between two non-playoff teams, so it is what it is. If Atlanta can, can stay healthy next year, look for them to make a bounce back year next year. And they just fired all their coordinators, so be interested to see who they hire and stuff. Jacksonville at Houston. The other game I got wrong. I picked Jacksonville to win in hopes to help Indy win the, the division if the Colts will win. And they lost 23, and the Jaguars' offense is who I thought they were. Just awful. Look for them to have Stafford or Eli or Flacco next year. One, one, one of the veteran quarterbacks in the league that the teams aren't going anywhere. Even Derek Carr wouldn't put it past them, but if they go into next year with Bortles, their QB, at the very least, they better have a rookie next year. That's all i got to say, because they got talent on that team, and it's just wasting away because of their inept offense. And... Coughlin's complaining about his players and all that stuff. and ugh. But they're not even as big as a drama-filled place as we, another team we'll talk about soon. Chargers at Denver. Pick Chargers to win. They won 23-9. Denver's done. They fired Vance Joseph. Let's see where they go. They still got some good defensive pieces. And, you know, they got some young they got, they got some young weapons on offense between Sutton and Lindsey. Hopefully Lindsey can come back healthy next year. Uh... Not much to say there. Oakland, Kansas City. Pick Kansas City to win. They won 35-3. Shocker. Yeah. Nothing to really say there. San Francisco at the Rams. Pick the Rams to win. They won 48-32. Credit to the Niners. They scored some points, but this game was really never even that close. Than the, even as close to the final score says. Uh, big ups to George Kittle, though. He's a beast, and next year, if Garoppolo comes back healthy and they can get some other weapons, that uh, they have potential there. They just had a really injury ravage year, and it was just one of those years where you just got to move on to the next one. But, you know, another high draft pick. Interesting to see where he go. Oh, uh, Chicago, Minnesota. Pick Chicago to win. They won 24-10. Basically eliminating Minnesota from the playoffs if the Eagles won, which we'll get to. But Minnesota absolutely needed to win this game, and their offense was just putrid. Their line's terrible. Kirk Cousins can't beat a good team. Oh, man. How much money did they pay him? 80 some million? Like 83, 86 million dollars uh, fully guaranteed? Woo! Good luck with that. 
Cincinnati at Pittsburgh. Antonio Brown didn't play this game because of what was a injury at first, but uh, turned to a full drama blown freaking argument between him and the rapist. I mean, uh, the quarterback. Uh, and he didn't play. And, and must win game. They did win. I picked them to win. And they won 16 13. Took everything they had to be a Jeff Driscoll led team in Pittsburgh. But, uh,. Man, Pittsburgh just is it's so they're so drama filled. Either Tomlin needs to go, they need they need a culture change. Like the Colts got this past year with Reich, which was just basically us, you know, backing into a great situation. You know, thank God we didn't have McDaniel's because this, this team would not be anywhere there was compared to where we had with Reich. They need someone like Reich to come in and and Chris Ballard to just write the ship because that team is a dysfunctional mess. It's like a goddamn reality show anymore. Uh, Antonio Brown wants to be traded. Oh, just kidding. He doesn't want to be traded. I, I, it doesn't matter. They really can't trade him anyway because the dead cap hit. Dead cap hit. They, they have to be blown away by an offer, I think, for a trade. I'm not going to see it happening. So tune in next year for uh, the next episode of the Kardashians, a.k.a. the Steelers. Arizona at Seattle. Pick Seattle win. They won 27-24. Arizona, man, they were trying to blow that first overall pick. That sole possession they had of it. But they found a way to lose. Uh, if this is the last game that Fitzgerald play, hell of a career. Uh... That's, that's all I can really say. Uh, the numbers he put up with just pedestrian quarterbacks outside of a few years of Kurt Warner and Carson Palmer, well, washed up Carson Palmer, excuse me, is just nothing short of extraordinary. He's played with quarterbacks like Lindley and Stanton and Bradford and just bums after bums and just continues to just be one of the best receivers ever play and if, m m arguably the best receiver of this entire generation that he's played in. Uh... But yeah, I got that game right. Philadelphia, Washington. Philadelphia needed to win this game, and they needed the Bears to beat the Vikings. That happened, and they won. And I picked them to win 24 0. I, I figured this game was a gimme. I mean, if it all came down to the Bears having to beat the Vikings because the Redskins are just so injured on their fourth string quarterback. I just couldn't see them beating Philly, even at Washington. Washington, much like the Niners this year, has had terrible injury luck. And Washington was in the driver's seat for that division not too long ago, and don't even make the playoffs. Don't even have a winning record. It's just goes to show you how important it is to have a good quarterback and a, a good backup quarterback, let alone when you're down to your fourth string, there's only so much you can do. But Philly snuck into the playoffs, and I don't think they're their team that no one wants to play. Big Dick Nick, he's going to make another run here, I feel. But we'll talk about that shortly. Cleveland at Baltimore. Man, Steelers, you were watching this game at the end of it. You were watching the end of this game after your game ended, and you were hoping. And Baker gave you guys a shot. He tried his best at Baltimore against that defense. But I picked Baltimore to win, and they won 26-24. Old school smash mouth football prevails, and I think it's going to be very tough for Baltimore to lose in the playoffs. I, they're a team to watch. They're probably the team that I fear the most in the postseason as far as goal to go, other than obviously go, going to Foxborough because you always got to deal with playing at Foxborough and the rest when you play the Patriots. But I think the Ravens are the scariest team. I think the Ravens, if they win the first round, could definitely go into Foxborough and beat them because they have a good history against the Patriots. Ending that final week of the season with the final game of the season, Colts going to Tennessee. Winner, win, winner gets in to the postseason. I picked Colts to win. They won 33-17. And I'm happy. I mean, the Colts could lose this upcoming week in the wild card, and I'll be just as happy because this team went from having a coach that we're going to hire, then he, the coach backs out like a little pussy, and then, you know, we're, we get Frank Reich, you know, who's basically just a backup plan, and he's Best coach, best coach we could have got. He's fantastic, great person, great leader, great play caller. Uh, him, Ballard, just what they've done to this team already is amazing. And it's like a hundred and ten million cap space next year, and another good draft picks and we have multiple second round picks. It's an exciting time to be a Colts fan. Luck's playing awesome. The offensive line went from one of our one of the worst in the league to arguably the best in the league. And, Qu and Quentin Nelson is a highlight reel at offensive guard. It's fantastic. They won 33-17. I mean, yeah, Gabbard played this game, but even Mariota plays because, especially since he wasn't healthy, I don't think I don't think that thing would have made a difference. It might have been a closer game, but Mariota with an arm that he could barely feel, I think, might have been even worse than Gabbard, which is saying something. I just don't see it being enough. Colts, Colts were just on a tear, and Tennessee they got some young talent, but they they got the injury bug too. Colts have injuries at, at, at uh, important positions. Ryan Kelly is our second-best offensive lineman. He didn't play. Uh, 
Hilton hasn't. He's practiced one time, I think, in the past uh, five weeks, but he keeps gutting it out. That he's a tough little bastard. I'll give him that. Uh, but uh, you know, it was nice to see Leonard get another pick to basically cap off his rookie season. I still can't believe he made the Pro Bowl, but you, you better get defensive rookie of the year. That's all I gotta say. Don't don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. But we're fourteen to the end of the year. That's a hell of a way to end the year. Colts made the playoffs. I can't be happier. Right, it's a wild card. Only four games, so this will, this will go pretty quick. The Colts had the first game of the week, but I always save that for last. So we'll uh, go right to the next game, which is Saturday night, Seattle going to Dallas. Is this the year Dallas can uh, silence the critics and actually win a playoff game? They're at home. You know, they've been you know rolling, other than when they got wiped out by the Colts <coughs> a few weeks ago. But, uh, no. I, Seattle, I'll take, I'll take Russell Wilson's playoff experience over Dax. And uh, I think Seattle wins this game on the road. I just think Seattle's a better team. I think Dallas's offense is just going to get exposed because if, if if Zeke doesn't go crazy, I don't think they put up enough uh, put up enough points to win this game. Chargers at Baltimore. It's, like I said, Seattle will win, I think. But I think it'll be a good game. I think all four of these games have potential to be really good games this week. They're very close matchups. Chargers on the road. They're always on the road because their home home field advantage is non-existent. Uh, to play in Baltimore, like I said, this is one of the teams that I don't think anybody wants to play right now. Uh, I think Baltimore wins this game. Great defense and a running game are wonders in the postseason. In cold weather and stuff, and just when everything's you know tighter and all the pressure's on, falling back on a good defense and a running game, Baltimore wins that game. But it should be should be a good one. <sighs> Philadelphia, Chicago. I think this would be a really good game. Two good defenses. Uh, two teams that are playing well. Two offenses that are sporadic. Uh, Foles is supposed to play. He only has bruised ribs. The uh, Eagles dodge a bullet there. I, th I just feel like there's something magical about this this uh, this run they're on right now. It seems like things just go their way right now. And just I feel like Nick Foles is just going to find a way to win, the, win this game. I think I'm picking the Eagles to win that game. And I think it would be a really good game. I wouldn't be surprised if Chicago won, but I just, I just, I don't know. There's just something about it. And in a week with the first game of the week, but like I always do with the Colts game, Saturday at I think 4:30, yeah, 4:30 I think. Indy going to Houston for part three of the rivalry game this year. First game went to overtime. Reich went for the win, and we ended up losing by three. Whatever. We won the second game by three. Both teams have uh, won on the road so far, and Colts going on the road here. I feel like I just feel like the Colts are a better team right now. I feel like that Houston offensive line is not good at all, and I think that's to be a big difference. Colts offensive line is fantastic, playing great, and Houston's offensive line has been bad all year. I think we get enough pressure to uh, force Watson to uh, maybe fumble it, maybe throw a pick or two. You know, luck might throw a pick here and there, but uh, I just feel like the Colts are a better team right now, even on the road. And like I said, I'll be a little disappointed if they lose, but. This year's already been, this is all gravy. The year's been fantastic. I cannot complain one iota about this year at all. But uh, picking the Colts to win should be a good game. And third match of the year, and who knows? They, these teams know each other, so that's all I can say. is uh, Should be a fun week, a fun weekend of games. I think all four of these games are potential very close games. I don't really see any anyone where any team should be overwhelmingly uh, favored. But uh, I feel like I'm picking three upsets this weekend, but... I don't really think they have big of upsets. I think these are uh, eight evenly matched teams for the most part. And it should be a fun weekend. As always, thanks for watching. Hope everybody had a great new year. Uh, hope everybody's excited for the playoffs. Your team didn't make it. Sorry, I know the feeling. <laughs> uh, you know, I had to watch the Colts uh, over the past like, two or three years where you know the hope seemed to like, just disappear with luck getting hurt and then not playing at all last year and the whole coach fiasco and all that stuff. But, hey. Look at the Colts. They went from 1-5 this year to making the playoffs and having a solid chance of winning a playoff game or two, at least. I think I think they're a team that no one wants to face either. A any team can do it. You can go from worst to first and first to worst in this league in a matter of an instant. Uh, so, if your team didn't do well this year, they make the playoffs, there's always next year. And they can always change pretty quick. As always, thanks for watching. I love you all. Fuck the Patriots. And peace out. That's all I really have to say. Later.